Check this out, YouTubers. NASA is apparently getting us ready to see a light show in the sky. According to this article from space.com, the article says, heads up. That's the word from NASA today, September 7th. Given the impending re-entry of a 6.5 ton satellite through Earth's atmosphere, the huge Upper Atmosphere Research Satellite, UARS, is expected to re-enter Earth's atmosphere in an uncontrolled fall in late September or early October. Much of the spacecraft is expected to burn up during the re-entry, but some pieces are expected to make it intact to the ground, NASA officials said. The U.S. Space Agency will be taking measures to inform the public about the pieces of the spacecraft that are expected to survive re-entry. One analysis of re-entry survivability for UARS components was performed several years ago with a software program called Object Reentry Survival Analysis Tool, or ORSAT for short. The computer analysis showed that about 150 component types, including the parent body of the satellite, will demise during re-entry at 12 types would endure the fiery fall to Earth. That appraisal indicated a survival mass of 1,170 pounds, falling within a debris footprint length of some 500 miles. The risk to public safety or property is extremely small, and safety is NASA's top priority noted a NASA website dedicated to the re-entry. Since the beginning of the space age in the late 1950s, there have been no confirmed reports of an injury resulting from re-entering space objects, nor is there a record of significant property damage resulting from a satellite re-entry. Nonetheless, there is a chance that pieces of debris from the satellite will crash in areas accessible to the public. 